you gotta go do something. <laughs> That's the number one thing, right? It's fucking action. Take action. Like I want to, I want to wake you up at three o'clock in the morning. And go, come on, man, we're going running. Like let me see, let me see what you do when you're tired. Let me see how you push yourself. Come on, man, get up, get up again tomorrow. Get up again tomorrow. Get up again tomorrow. The next day, get up, get up, get up, get up. Keep going. Be the hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie, and it started now. Forget about whatever financial disasters you've had, personal failures, relationship failures. What would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Do that. Do those things. We define ourselves far too often by our past failures. We look at our past and we say, well, that's me. That's not you. You are this person right now. You're the person who's learned from those failures. And you can choose to be the hero of your own movie right now. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things that you've done in the past you never want to see yourself do again. And go forth from here as the hero of your own movie. Build momentum. Build confidence and momentum with each good decision that you make from here on out. You can do it. Anyone can do it. We live in unique times. We live in one of the rarest times in human history where you can choose almost all of the input that comes your way. Whether it's the movies that you watch, the books you read, the podcasts you listen to, you can choose to be inspired. Do that. Do that. Be the hero of your own world. The real message is we all started from no I mean, we all had bullshit jobs. We all <laughs> felt like losers. But through time and effort, you build a stronger human. You build a stronger body. You build a stronger mind. You build accomplishments and will and momentum. And then you look back and you go, hey, man, I'm not washing tables anymore. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not washing dishes. I'm not cutting lawns. I'm not digging ditches. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a different person now. But I used to be. You only have so much bandwidth. This is something to take into consideration. You should probably tell this to your teenage self, too. Okay. If you want to give yourself advice. Yeah. You only have so much time in the day. And if you could just be objective about the amount of time that's useless, like worrying about what other people think about you, or worrying about what they're doing, or diminishing what they're doing, being jealous or petty, it's, it's like you don't have any time for that. Your, your time is precious. It's very precious part of success is just not being fucking lazy and just doing it yeah just get that's like 90 percent of it is just showing up get there and start working like you're not gonna feel perfect every day if i felt if i only worked out when i felt good i'd be a fat fuck if it's pretty much the same with everybody that that actually gets good at something you you get there's got to be those days you push through you got to write down what the fuck you want and then go after it because otherwise you live in sort of a wishy-washy world because my thing is everybody is this weird beginner but if you just fucking keep figuring it out whatever the thing is that you're trying to do really well you can get better at it if you don't fuck things up with your body you don't fuck things up with your brain you can get better at it to the point where you like achieve like a level of excellence i think here's an important thing too failure is important it is important i think failure teaches you things that you don't learn from success i think failure gives you an opportunity for self-examination and also gives you a feeling that is very uncomfortable and that very uncomfortable feeling helps you grow that when you feel like shit you screw something up like when i've had bad podcasts my podcast has always gotten better afterwards when i've had bad stand-up sets i've always gotten better after that and don't look at these failures as like proof that you suck look at them as opportunities for growth look at them as opportunities to be motivated to do better that's why losing in life is so important whether it's getting dumped getting fired, losing a game, lo loss. Those feelings where things didn't work out your way, that's important because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when hmm. it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better. You have to be able to have that honest assessment of yourself. And the only way you can do that is you're taking account of yourself all day long. You're taking account. You're writing down what the fuck you need to do. You're doing it. You have a, a mindset that you want to maintain throughout the day. Don't let the world maintain your mindset. You choose what mindset that you are going to maintain.